When you're low carb, keto, or carnivore, you'll never ever need to snack. But what happens if you screw up? What do you do then? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb, keto, carnivore chat. And today it's about the general topic of snacking. Um, when you come, before you uh, enter the low carb, uh, keto carnivore world, snacking, for this is most people on the standard American diet, snacking is part of life. You're always hungry and your diet is the reason why you're always hungry because you're constantly spiking your blood sugar levels and that creates that hunger feeling. I'm telling you, I've said this before in a couple other videos, my whole life I was like, oh, I gotta, I wish they, the doctors invented a pill that would make me not hungry. Well, that pill is called carnivore or low carb. Keep your blood sugar low and your that hunger feeling just doesn't happen. So when you're doing like, I'm carnivore now for the most part, animal based. I'll eat like a hard boiled egg, okay? Or, or a heavy egg yolk omelet with a lot of butter for breakfast, for instance, or when I wake up, lunch, whatever and I might not eat the rest of the day or for another 24 hours. You just don't think about food. That's the miracle of being low carb. That, that feeling of, of needing to eat just goes away. Um, and I've, I've been in this phase for so long that, that you don't even think about food. And that's why I always say, Food is not entertainment, food is fuel. And if you eat the right fuel, you run lean. And it's, it's just, it's a, it's a fantastic thing. I wish I discovered this when I was in my uh, younger days, because uh, who knows, life might be different now. However, you do make a mistake, especially for the newbies in the low carb, keto carnivore world. They're always looking for things to replace the foods they used to eat, you know, and they end up making mistakes, and myself included. You make mistakes, you, you'll end up eating too many peanuts, for instance, or, or something, like, oh, let me have a gluten-free coconut chip. And then you realize the serving is 20 grams of carbs, and that, even though that's not major, you eat 20 grams of carbs, it doesn't matter whether it's sugar-based or not. Carbs are sugar, they're equal in this world. Uh, it, well, maybe not. I mean, there's some carbs that get processed slower, but that, that's, that's minor. It's minor, minor, minor. Um, so, what happens is you screw up. You eat something that you're not supposed to eat, and that throws the whole, like, synchronicity off. And, and it brings that hunger feeling back into, into, your, into your life, and it sucks. The, the feeling of being hungry is just not pleasant when it's not warranted. You know, you should be hungry when you're when you're like starving. Like when I eat, I had uh, I don't know 12, 12 hours ago. I had uh, maybe a half a pound, three quarters of a pound of ground beef. I fried up on a pan. I didn't do it in the grill today for whatever reason. I ate that for lunch with no condiments, no ketchup. Never put ketchup. Ketchup should be in the garbage. Uh, mustard is okay. Mustard is low carb. Uh, even though it's processed. But anyway, I ate this meat and I, and I haven't eaten since. So, that said, what happens when you screw up or how do you snack when you're low carb? Well, the, the first thing you should do is always make extra low carb food. Meatballs are great. You make little half ounce meatballs and you bake up a hundred of them and keep them in a bag or, or a Pyrex uh, glass container in your fridge and always have low carb meats or, or whatever, cheeses uh, or eggs ready to go in your fridge. So you can make up a vat of um, egg salad with some good avocado, oil, mayo. Never use that soybean crap. Most mayonnaise sucks. I mean, even though I think if you ever just get a regular old Hellman's, that's fine. But the soybeans uh, apparently are, are, are the soybean stuff you, you want to keep out, especially for men. You know, um, so make a good egg salad or have some hard boiled eggs, uh, bacon, you could bake up a pound or two or three of bacon, 
bake up some bacon. Um, keep that in your fridge. Have a nice crispy bacon strip. If you're, if you're feeling peckish or whatever, and you just feel like eating, or maybe you didn't eat enough uh, low carb meat or eggs in the morning, and, you, and your body needs fuel. Like when you're low carb, the hunger is real. Um, provided you didn't eat high carb stuff. Side note here, the way hunger approaches you when you are low carb is way different than the way hunger approaches you when you're standard American sad diet. Like if you had a, 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 a pint of orange juice and a bagel with cream cheese for breakfast, you're hungry before lunch, always. That's why people go to the vending machine at 10.30 in the morning at their office. And then at lunchtime they eat more high carb stuff and then they have another snack at three o'clock. And then they're hungry at dinner and they get pizza. It, it's this never ending cycle of constantly being hungry. I'm, I'm rambling here. Let me have a drink here. <sighs> oh my God, that's so refreshing. I took last night off. Um, and got to recharge my body. I feel like a million bucks today. It was a really good day. But what can you eat? Let's say you don't have your bacon, your eggs, or your meatballs in your refrigerator ready to go, or some nice roast beef, or whatever it may be. Here, I got some stuff. Pork rind. All right? Got some pork rinds here. These, are, these happen to be the spicy version, okay? They're, those are pork rinds. These are from Aldi. They're uh, Clancy's, they're 79 cents a bag. They have hot and spicy and plain, okay? And I got these chicharrones from uh, Lidl. Lidl is that new, uh, also a competitor of Aldi. These hot and spicy pork rinds I got at Lidl over in Union, New Jersey. Let's see if you can see them, if it comes out good. These have to be, see how it says here, zero carbs per serving. See that? Zero carbs per serving. These hot and spicy ones, and it doesn't say, before I, I go on here, the thing you gotta watch out for with, with this flavored uh, uh, pork skins or pork rinds or chicharrones, whatever you wanna call them, is MSG. Because some of them, I forget which brand it is, they have MSG, and MSG is the worst thing you can eat. Even though it's, it's zero carb, or I think it is, MSG has the same effect on your body that eating a, like, a, like a bag of corn chips does an hour later. It makes you hungry, it screws with your brain. It's just bad. Avoid MSG at all costs. But I got these at Lidl. These were the best tasting, most enjoyable pork rinds I've ever had. Does that mean they're good and I recommend them? No, not necessarily. These were also under a buck a bag. But I remember I, that day I hadn't eaten. I had gone to Lidl and I, I said, let me get these and I'll eat them on the way home. I ate the whole bag on the way home. They were, the texture, the crunch, and the flavor on these Lidl pork rinds was the best ever. Now I'm looking at the ingredients here and they don't have, they have maltodextrin, which, which can contain MSG. They have yeast e extract, uh, dextrose. Ah, what, whatever the case, they have uh, da, 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 torula yeast, extracts of paprika, yeah, that's for the color. And they have hickory, natural flavors, natural hickory smoke flavor. See. And same thing with these uh, these uh, Aldi Clancy brand. They also have dextrose and uh, hydro hydrolyzed corn gluten. I'm never gonna buy the spicy ones again. I mean, if I'm feeling, I mean, they didn't make me feel hungry. They didn't do that. They didn't have the same effect. So I don't think that whatever the MSG or ad additives in here was so bad for me that, because it didn't make me obsessed. It didn't make me want to eat like a madman afterward. But as much as these are enjoyable, I'm, I'm going to go ahead on the record here and officially never recommend them. Maybe once a year I'll treat myself to a hot and spicy pork rind from, from Lidl. Because these were absolutely amazing. I, I, <laughs> Better off getting the plain ones. Make sure it has nothing but pork rinds and salt. Even though they don't have sea salt, which I highly recommend, 
get the plain ones. And what you do is eat one or two. The crunch, you get the satisfying crunch. It's almost like a tortilla chip. Sometimes they get, <laughs> they get stuck in my throat and I feel like I'm gonna throw up or I can't breathe. It's weird how these pork, pork rinds work. But I discovered I, I made my own little nachos out of pork rinds. I wish I could, I, I, haven't, I didn't document it, but you put a couple pork rinds or you know, 10 of them on a plate, throw some sprinkled cheese on there, nuke it for, I, I don't recommend microwaving, but if, when you're in a pinch, nuke it for 15 seconds, melt the cheese on there, you got, it's almost like tortilla chips, and you don't need to eat a lot. You won't go back for more and more and more and more and more. Pork rinds are a very good in a pinch. Have them in your closet and you can have fun with the pork rinds. But uh, other than that, you shouldn't really need to snack when you're low carb. Um, it, and that's the truth. Anybody that has done low carb or keto or carnivore the right way will be you know, astounded with the fact that they'll never ever think about snacking much at all. A couple times here and there, but usually it's legitimate, your hunger is real, and you need the fuel. So just go back to eating your, your low carb uh, or carnivore choice and, and have a couple bites and just move on. And don't let food like overcome you or consume your life the way a lot of people do. Especially, uh, by the way, you should get rid of the TV. Don't sit on the sofa and passively shovel food in your mouth while you watch like manipulative and propaganda on TV. Why? You, it, it, it's just, you're like a robot. I mean, I'll, I could put some links somewhere one of these days to some good videos that might uh, shock you into thinking twice about how you live your life. You work all day and you sit there and you just rot away on the, on, on the sofa, and entertaining yourself. You know, do something productive, you know, start a YouTube channel, build something, read a book, but, but sitting there passively eating while you entertain yourself and get tired and then you just go, go to sleep and, and probably start the developing diseases that are gonna require medical attention and where they feed you with more pills and all sorts of stuff. It, it's a vicious, vicious cycle of how they've uh, built this world we live in. Uh, but break free, you know, break free and live pure. And, for, and we'll talk more about the, the organic crap and, and that, that's a little bit uh, been, been corrupted as well, I think. But I've rambled on over like 12, 13, 14 minutes here, so, but you won't need the snacks. And later on, I'm gonna talk about some snacks and the experiences we've had with them and why we don't eat them anymore. I, mean, I might do one snack, like do like a two minute video every other week of telling you why I don't eat a certain snack that you may still like, okay? Have a nice week ahead and enjoy the, um, the warm weather that's coming.